So this is my binder that I bring to different events and like a local game store. I also have a trade binder that I would love to trade for sealed product now that we're doing box breaking. Um, it's come to my realization that people who want have high-end cards, they probably are going to look for cash and some trade. And I do have some trade. So this stuff is really either for more high-end stuff, which you, you probably can't see because of the glare, but we're, we're hopefully it works out at the end, okay? This is the store's trade binder. Uh, and I obviously own the store, so it's kind of my trade binder as well. I'm looking to trade it into high-end stuff. And I'm looking to trade for vintage sealed boxes. At this exact moment in time, those are the only things I would ever trade anything off of this binder for. It's alpha, it's beta, it's unlimited, and it's some higher end revised. Um, the revised dual lands are in a different collection, which I will show off in probably another video very soon, maybe in the same day. That's an alpha. I think there was an alpha is on top. I think this is alpha two. And then we got some betas, beta demonic. We got uh, beta bolts, lightning bolts. We got some beta uh, unlimited duels, unlimited mocks. I picked these up recently. And the idea of picking them up is to trade them out. And you might be like, oh, what are you trading them into? Again, if somebody has like a, a weather light box or a little, something that is a little bit hard to find, I definitely will be happy to listen to those trade offers. These are all unlimited. Uh, unlimited wheel is a pretty cool one. Unlimited dual lands, unlimited word of command, which is only unlimited, it's not reprinted and re re revised. And then we have some antiquities. We have the workshop, we have the candle, and we have the power artifact. I mean, what else do you need? And then some casual unlimited cards, Birds of Paradise Unlimited, I think looks fantastic. Uh, Shiv and Dragon Unlimited, very pricey. Uh, Manor Vault Unlimited, the mask, the illusionary mask. Uh, this is really cool looking. Doesn't have the top symbol. I, I, I think when you talk about birds and soul ring, not having the top symbol is pretty OG, right? Again, is it black border? No, but the price difference is worth it in my opinion. Copy artifacts, stasis, if you want unlimited cards, here we go. Um, these are unlimited as well, I believe. Oh yeah, and here we have the Lotus I picked up. And that is for trade solely, solely for either a better Lotus and we throw some cash and some other cards on top or for vintage boxes. And it would have to be like an Urza Saga. It would have to be something really good. Uh, when you deal with this binder, you kind of only, how should I put it? I only really want equal value or I want to trade up. Now, is it for sealed product? Fine. If it is for other singles, fine. If it's other card games, would I trade a Black Lotus into, let's say, a, I don't know what the fair value is, but let's say a booster box of Pokemon Unlimited. Yeah, I would consider it. I definitely would consider it because that would be something really cool to box break, right? And, you know, these are unlimited cards. They're not, they're not easy to find, guys. Unlimited is rare now. My idea of what's happening is very simple. I portrayed the idea over and over again. It couldn't be more easily explained. People like Rudy, people like uh, Power Nine Quest, people like on YouTube, you see them flex all the time, right? When they buy Unlimited, they buy Alpha, Beta, they buy Legends, Arabian Nights. I mean, I don't have to go through the whole list. You know what the list is already. I've said it a million times. They buy it not to sell it, they buy to hold it forever. And it never hits the public market again. Maybe it's the private market, which I'm now part of. And so I do get offered stuff in the private market, but they don't hit the public market for the simple fact that very few of it exists in people who do wanna sell. When you're dealing with multi-millionaires, when you're dealing with extremely wealthy individuals, they don't really have a reason to sell these cards. Um, if you own a Black Lotus, for instance, like it's basically worth a, you know, depending on the condition and so on, we can go on and on. It's basically worth a Kia. 
So you, instead of buying a car, you have a piece of cardboard. That is a very certain type of income level where somebody can hold a Black Lotus. And it's also likely that they have other cards as well. I mean, you don't really start from the Black Lotus. The Black Lotus is kind of the finale, if you will. Man of Barbs Unlimited and so on. So this is my um, revised. Revised, like I said, it's getting to the point where it's very similar to Unlimited in my understanding of it. I don't see very much of this stuff come out. If you see my collection buy videos, which hopefully I will post all soon, the collections that normally come out is somebody has an EDH stack and they're looking to move the more valuable pieces. The EDH stack does not have dual lands because they refuse to sell them. So, I mean, it's even to the point where they're financially in, in desperate situations, but they're willing to move everything else but the dual lands. And obviously, Revise is all about the dual lands. So they have dual lands and unlimited. Oh, there's a Diamond Valley, by the way. Uh, so that one's kind of higher end. So for Revise, you know, would I trade these into on the, Yeah, I would give you a premium. This is a trade binder. It's not really a sell binder or a buy binder. It's just a trade binder. And I think that, oh, here, oh, he blanked me. This is like the foil page, extra foils, just random foils that I put. I'm trying to put them together in some type of fashion and order, but I didn't understand what I was doing. Um, yeah, Radiant Foil is a very, these three are incredibly pricey. They're just out, just out. <laughs> this is a Ghost Rare, by the way. Kyla the Ghost Rare. It's a different, you know, form. Um, here is obviously my uh, Urza's Legacy. They move around depending on my mood. But yeah. So basically to make a long story short, this is my trade binder. I do not need to sell any of the cards. I use it as a way to trade into stuff where the seller may not be comfortable with just getting back cash. And this sounds kind of ridiculous, right? But when you're dealing with multi-millionaires, they want another collection. So I could see, you know, hey, there's a Beta Lotus. I don't want really want to sell it, but you have a really good minty, which I do, unlimited Lotus. I want some cash, but I also still want to have a Lotus. Bam, okay, on Lotus plus a bunch of dual lands plus a bunch of cash on top, boom, I get a Beta Lotus. That I could see happening what I don't see happening very often is somebody with a Beta Lotus just wanting to get out of Magic entirely. Um, if, if you watch my collection videos, I'm trying to really try to do a better job of making sure I record all of them, the, the collections that come in. But like they, it's kind of hard because then you're like, hey, you you already know like you have to go through so much bulk and so much blah 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 blah. So it's already like a headache to do. It's not like a headache. It's fun to do. Yes, but. It still takes time. It's still going to take three to four hours to process the collection, look at the conditions, right? And so on. And then put them in either uh, binders, the appropriate binder, or put them in hard sleeves and whatever, right? So it's a fun process. Don't get me wrong. It's fun, but it's not like, it's like an extra step that doesn't actually help you, if that makes sense. So it's kind of like you're just wasting time making the video. I mean, it's not a waste of time, right? But the collection is not the way, so it's not the way that you want, it's not in the sleeves you want it, it's not in the binder you want it, it's not in the presentation you want it. It's just like you got it and that you got to like show it off and you don't actually like what's the, um, again, you know, hey, to each their own. Bye guys.